Okay, welcome to the show and tell. This is a book from Rose that was sent to me to share. Uh, I wasn't told it was coming, so I had no idea what it was, but I opened this uh, wrapping that was around this and I saw the Epic of Steel. I thought, what the heck? So thank you from Rose here. And let's see, so I opened it up and I'm thinking, what is this? And then there's all these little pockets here. So I haven't done like journaling, you know, where you're using kind of existing books and things like that before, but I've seen, you know, the the book format type of thing, the old books, but she has a lot of these, um, kind of these birds and these different um, pouch, pouches that were um, constructed from um, these uh, inner pages like that, that were really cool. But I was looking through it thinking, what is this, you know? And uh, I was flipping through and through. There's a nebula one with a bird here. Uh, but I thought, okay, that's pretty neat. But then I got to the back here. This is what, page 261 here. And then she has these little pouches with these little kind of stampscapes uh, types of uh, um, originals in here with these little... I don't know, these really cool little, um, I think these are ATC size cards. I'm not exactly sure, but she's really created some really cool little um, compositions in here, scenarios. I think she might've drawn these little um, cabins in there herself, but she has a really great um, style um, and uh, coloring technique um, with her pieces. Um, there's a lot of uh, scenes up on the uh, the Flickr, um, my Flickr page, where she sent me some originals before. Or it might have been, she might have taken photographs and sent them to me via email. Maybe that was it. Um, I don't remember, uh, but they're up there. But see all these little um, shimmery little um, flowers around uh, those rocks and the foliage like that. It really kind of brings the scene alive with those uh, little details like that. Um, this one she put a little marker right there next to the, uh, the uh, house and then put the little yellow um, kind of dots right over that. So really cool. And it looks like they're colored with, I'm guessing alcohol inks or something of that sort. But let's go on here. Um, the next page right here are some more of these little cabins. Here's the um, covered bridge here. And that's a cool um, way to color that where it's kind of in shadow up there, but on the bottom part, it's really light like that. It looks like the staining or something like that, like natural weathering. This is kind of cool like this, huh? With these little loopy kind of uh, groupings of, um, I don't know, little floral kind of accents around there. And that's really cool too. This is the waterside bluff left and she's added all those little flowers um, right along the shoreline right there. I'll have to remember that one. That looks really cool. And that's the um, the oaks, uh, oaks and mist, I think, right in the background there. So a lot of these little, vi uh, I, don't, I don't know what you call it, vignettes or little um, cards like this are really uh, fun to uh, see in here, curvilinear road leading into the background like that. And then she's moved up into these larger sizes, um, kind of towards the back here. This barn here with the uh, the dirt road and the, the fence leading um, as a visual lead-in to that background. This is really cool too. This is this um, some ruins here that she's placed waterside next to this lake. It uh, gives it a kind of an interesting... Um, uh, whatever visual scenario there. Oh, and here's another one. Um, in the background like that. Uh, rocks and leaves and uh, pines and rocks down here. She's added those little green accents in here. And this time it's with the, um, I think it's a marker right there uh, as far as that green goes on there. I'm not sure. It could be a paint pen too or something of that sort. Um, Cricket Path, uh, Tree Trunk Trio with some mushrooms in here, kind of the moon and the forest floor type of uh, scenario. 
Let's see, we're on page 333 here. Okay, well, she's used a uh, scenic sentiment quote down here, but uh, the um, covered bridge leading to this little pond area. Another scenario here where she's extended the road with the use of the dirt, uh, dirt road leading into the covered bridge right there. Waterside uh, Rocky uh, Bank is <laughs> right, right here, but a kind of a cool little passage right here uh, into this uh, kind of pond area. And then in the back here, we have this cool kind of round format. I always thought that um, I need to work with more of these types of rounds and oval formats. It really makes for a great um, compositional structure when you do these things in the round like that. I, I'm always kind of um, creating little vignette types of edges around my, you know, 90 degree angle edges, but I always do think that um, rounds and softer edge um, types of uh, perimeters really make for a great looking um, composition. And then all the way in the back here, along with the, uh, I forgot whether you call these cards right here, uh, but this sure brings back some memories. But we have this round format right here, with a similar composition with the larger um, covered bridge and pond right down here, but this one has this pull out like this. I've seen these types of kind of formats like this before, but I haven't had one in hand before. I've never made one either where you pull these out. So it's kind of having be really careful that I don't, uh, you know, damage anything when, uh, you know, working that mechanism. I, I could see the pull tabs there, but um, anyway. But she has the stamp skate by, and then it looks like me. <laughs> uh, it's Rose. Okay, or her initial. So anyways, thanks so much, Rose, for sharing this with everyone. And uh, I will be sending her book back to her. She just, you know, sent it out to share. And uh, I really had a great time looking at this. And also just for seeing this type of formatting here, I think, just think it's really cool like that. Um, so, I don't know, something to think about, you know, in terms of uh, if you want some kind of like long-term project or something like that, you know, where you can kind of just add these in. And then I guess this is a great storage um, vehicle for your pieces and in shipping it keeps them all kind of nice and secure like that. And you can put this on your bookshelf like that. So, um, really cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks as always for tuning into the Stamscapes channel.